Hi, I'm Rainy Lynch and I work for Books for Keeps. And right now I'm in the Books for Keeps warehouse in our book bank. And today I'm gonna be reading ABC of Nature, a wild and wonderful alphabet. Written by Carmine Falzone and illustrated by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman. And when you pick this book up, make sure you touch it because the letters are bumpy. A is for ammonite. Ammonites lived in the world's oceans millions of years ago. Ammonite fossils help scientists learn what parts of earth were once covered by water. A is for alligator. Alligators live in lakes, rivers, swamps, and marshes. A is for aster. Asters bloom late in summer and are important food for butterflies and bees. B is for birch. Native Americans used birch bark to make maps, wigwams, and canoes. B is for butterfly. There are more than 17,500 different types of butterflies in the world. This is a monarch. B is for beetle. Nearly one out of every five animals on earth is a beetle. B is for bobcat. Bobcats get their name from their short bobbed tails. C is for chickadee. Chickadees make more than 15 calls, including the chickadee dee dee sound. And we have a lot of chickadees in Georgia. C is for crane. A crane is a tall wading bird. They can be five feet tall. That's as tall as I am. C is for caterpillars. Caterpillars change into pupas before becoming moths or butterflies. D is for dragonfly. Dragonflies existed on earth before dinosaurs. They have special wings that help them fly forward, up, down, and even backward. D is for deer. A baby deer is called a fawn. A fawn can stand just minutes after being born. D is for dandelion. Most people think of dandelions as weeds, but they have been used as food, tea, and medicine for hundreds of years. E is for egret. An egret tucks its head back in an S shape when it flies. E is for elk. Elk antlers can grow up to one inch a day. Elk shed their antlers in the winter and regrow new antlers each spring. E is for ermine. The ermine grows a white coat to help it camouflage in winter snow. E is for eagle. Eagles build their nests at the tops of tall trees or on cliffs. F is for fox. Foxes make more than 20 sounds, including yips, barks, and shrieks. F is for fiddlehead fern. Fiddleheads are the young curled leaves of ferns. They are a favorite snack of deer. F is for foxglove. Foxglove blooms in groups of bell-shaped flowers with speckled insides. F is for flamingo. Flamingos are pink because of the shrimp and algae they eat. G is for gosling. A gosling is a baby goose. Fluffy goslings can walk and swim just after they hatch. G is for gecko. Geckos have special toes that help them stick to and climb on any surface. G is for grasshopper. Grasshoppers have special back legs that work like springs to help them jump. G is for ginkgo. Ginkgo is an ancient species of tree known for their fan-shaped leaves, and they turn bright, bright yellow in the fall. H is for hummingbird. Hummingbirds have thin, curved beaks for drinking nectar from flowers. H is for hydrangea. The color of hydrangeas depends on the soil they're grown in. Some soil makes the flowers blue. H is for hawk. 
Hawks have excellent eyesight and can spot small prey from high in the sky. H is for hill. A hill is an area of land that is higher than the land around it, but not as high as a mountain. I is for ivy. Ivy has special sticky roots that help it climb up trees and walls as it grows. I is for icicle. Spiky icicles form when dripping water freezes. J is for jellyfish. Jellyfish have no brain, heart, bones, or eyes. Some jellyfish are bioluminescent, which means that they create their own light. J is for Jack in the Pulpit. Jack in the Pulpit gets its name for the shape of its bloom, like a little preacher standing in a pulpit. K is for katydid. Katydids are shaped like a leaf and they sing a song that sounds like Katie did by rubbing their wings together. K is for kale. Kale comes in many colors and varieties and many types are safe to eat. K is for krill. Tiny krill are important food for many ocean animals, even the gigantic blue whale. L is for leaf. Leaves turn energy from the sun into food that helps the plants grow. L is for lilac. Sweet smelling lilacs only bloom for a few short weeks in spring. L is for loon. Loon hatchlings sometimes ride on a parent's back to warm up from the chilly water. And I think it's really cool that they have bright, bright red eyes. M is for mushroom. Mushrooms are a type of fungus. Sometimes they are also called toadstools. M is for moth. Most moth species are nocturnal, which means they are most active at night. M is for manatee. Throughout history, sailors sometimes reported seeing mermaids in their travels, but most likely they were actually seeing manatees. But it would be really cool if they saw mermaids. N is for needle. Pine needles don't fall off in the fall like other types of leaves. They stay on the tree all year long. N is for newt. Newts are a type of amphibian. They are born in and live near water. O is for owl. Owls are almost completely silent when they fly, helping them quietly catch their prey. O is for orchid. Orchids are used to make perfumes, medicines, and even flavorings. There are more than 25,000 different kinds of orchids. O is for octopus. An octopus can change color and shape to blend in with its surroundings. P is for pearl. Saltwater pearls come from oysters that live in the ocean. P is for porcupine. A porcupine can have more than 30,000 sharp quills. P is for puffin. Puffins are sometimes called the clowns of the sea because of their brightly colored beaks and dark markings around their eyes. Q is for quill. A quill is a sharp, hollow bristle of hair, just like the ones on that porcupine. Q is for quail. Sounds a lot like quill. The plume on top of a quail's head is called a top knot and is made from six feathers. R is for rain. Rain waters the earth and refills oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams. Rain also provides drinks for thirsty animals and plants. R is for rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes shake their tail to warn predators to stay away. Their rattle is made of the same material as our hair and fingernails. R is for rainbow. When sunlight shines through raindrops, it creates a rainbow. S is for sloth. Sleepy sloths can spend more than 20 hours a day snoozing. S is for strawberry. 
Strawberry plants are perennial, which means that they grow back each year. They are one of the first fruits to ripen each spring. S is for snail. As a snail grows, its shell grows too. A snail keeps the same shell for its entire life. S is for starfish. A starfish can regrow a lost arm and sometimes a lost arm can regrow a whole starfish. S is for spider. Many types of spiders build a whole new web each day. T is for thistle. Thistle flower nectar is a favorite food of bees and butterflies and birds love to eat thistle seeds. T is for tornado. Tornado winds can reach top speeds of more than 300 miles an hour. T is for tendril. Tendrils are the thin curling stems of a plant that attach to walls and fences and help it climb. T is for turtle. Just like the bones in our bodies, a turtle's shell is part of its skeleton. It works like a shield to help protect the turtle from danger. U is for umbrella bird. The umbrella bird has a flap of skin on its neck called a waddle. The waddle helps make the umbrella bird's calls very loud. U is for urchin. Sea urchins have a hard inner shell that protects their soft insides. Sometimes these bumpy round shells wash up on the seashore. V is for vole. Voles are expert tunnelers. They burrow underground looking for roots and plant bulbs to eat. What else does a vole look like? It kind of looks like a tiny mouse. V is for volcano. Volcanoes are named after Vulcan, the Roman god of fire. W is for woodpecker. Woodpeckers have sharp, strong beaks to peck holes in tree bark and find insects to eat. W is for wasp. Unlike bees that can only sting once, a wasp can sting many times. W is for walrus. Walruses use their long tusks to pull themselves out of icy Arctic water onto the ice. X is for Xyrus. Xyrus grows in wetlands like marshes and bogs and along riverbanks. X is for Zeme. Zeme are a type of small gull. They fish in large flocks over the open ocean. Y is for Yabby. That's a fun word. The Yabby looks like a little lobster and lives in swamps and streams. They can be black, brown or even bright blue. Y is for yucca. Yucca plants can grow in hot, dry climates with almost no water. Y is for yak. Yaks are related to cows. They have long, hairy coats and large handlebar horns. Z is for zephyr. A zephyr is a soft, gentle breeze. Z is for zebra swallowtail. You can spot a zebra swallowtail by its black and white striped wings and long tails. Z is for zinnias. Zinnia flowers can be white, yellow, orange, pink, red, lilac, purple, or multicolored. Zinnias are a symbol of friendship. How many ABCs can you find in the world around you?